Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. It's time to expertly maneuver these fire bars here and move further into the Palace of Shadow. Not another fire. So much fire. Now yeah, let's get Goombella out and see what we're dealing with here. Come here. Oh, Come here. Oh. Come on. A little tricky there flame. We there we go. Mario, yeah. this is a green flame. It shoots green fire and it hurts green. It only hurts people who are dressed in green. Well, she's got a green book, so she's in trouble. And Yoshi's this... green, so he's in trouble. This is the Danny Phantom Spirit. Oh no! Careful, it'll shoot you with Butch Hartman. No, he'll try to convert you! <laughs> he'll try to draw Danganronpa characters. Oh, he did that? <laughs> uh, he drew his characters as ultimate something or other. Uh, while, uh, uh, while, while cleverly leaving out the fact that it's a game about murder. It's like, uh, Mr. Harmon, don't you know what that game is actually about? It's about uh, murder. Fuck! I'm a big Monokuma stan. Anyway, no murder happens in this game. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, I feel like the internet has really yeah. turned on Butch Hartman in the past few years, ever since he did that... Oh. that thing. I don't even remember what that... Ah. what his, uh... Oh, shit. I don't remember what his, uh, little channel started to co he started was, like, what it was called. It was a TV-type channel. It was mainly just, you know, make sure the kids don't look at titties or something like that. Make sure they're 100% pure when watching television. You forget about Rule 34? No matter how pure it is, there's gonna be titties. Yes, but this is for the children! Remember, the children are sacred. Well, it's time for our first boss fight. Of kind how of. many, I wonder? Many. Many, many, many. Many, many, many fights? Ah! Oh my god. Yeah, good luck, YouTube compression. Let's see you render this. Alright, so... The idea is I need to get to that guy over th Hey, get over here! Come on! Hey! Hey! Get back here! Get back here! Oi! Oi! Come on! I'm gonna get you! I, I think this is the, I got first, the first time where we've actually had to chase down a boss to fight because he was too scared of you. Alright. Uh, there's a Ooh, lot of, a this lot looks of them here. Mean. And they're the kinds of guys that like to come back mm -hmm. after after we destroy them. And they like to rebuild their friends, too, so... Uh, HP is 20. Oh, man. Ooh, this should be interesting, because can they rebuild Dark Bones? I don't think they can. I think when we defeat Dark Bones, that's it. Okay. Ah. So uh, the, don't, build, don't build friends, no! The, the longer this fight goes on, the, the more you'll reach a stalemate, I guess, until Dark Bones is destroyed. I love- oh, stop, stop. Oh my god, that hurts. I love how many different uh, members you have down there in your audience. You've really made a name for yourself, Green Mario. Oh yes, we have a very diverse cast of characters. We got the Big Bombs, we got Hammer Brothers, we got Flowers, we got x knots of all people. All uh, are welcome in the stage of Paper Mario, but let's try Supernova, our brand new- Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, show me that. Yeah, let's, let's see how that works. Tap A? Well, as you know, I'm very good at tapping buttons. That was easy. Uh... Oh, okay, this is really cool. I like the imagery I'm getting here. Oh, here we go. Wonderful! And excellent. Outsta oh. Yeah! Holy shit! Ho ho! What did that take, only six? That's not bad. Which means I can do a supernova and an earth tremor and still be looking still be looking pretty. Hell yeah. Well, that was amazing. What a great showcase. And that's why I got all the 
That's why I got a big crowd. They come to see my great strategies. Come one, come all, to Green Mario, the man who can create supernovas on stage. Yeah, I'm kind of running out of... Okay. I got you. Toss the Ultra Shroom. Mm-hmm. Go in here. Take a Super Shroom. Mm-hmm. Keep me going for a little while longer. And then get the Ultra Shroom. There you go. Wow, that was like quick time in, in the Mario universe where he threw the shroom, was able to do so many other things, like flipping through menus, come back to reality, bam, shroom hits him in the head. Mario's great at shroom juggling. <laughs> and right here, you're good at like frame-perfect tricks going into the floor. I like to think that there's some iframes when Vivian drags you down into the floor. Oh yeah, it totally looks like it. Like, that bullet totally hit you, and yet you still got away with it. I hate these things. I hate them so much I haven't even bothered to tattle on them yet. Well, I mean, they're cannons. It's not like they have a personality. I don't know that. But, okay, what is a cannon going to say to Mario? Would you like to try this bottle of Chardonnay? Uh, well, that's not exactly what I was expecting. They seem more of like a, a beer kind of guy, but... You know, they could be big winos, you never know. <laughs> that, that's why they're gold. Ah! Oh, because okay. they have exquisite taste. Ah, yes, exquisite taste. So I'm trying to think back to, uh, like, the last time I played this, you know, ba you know back in 2005 when I first, first played this, mm. how different things are. I don't remember ever being this strong. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't, I don't think I've gotten enough shine sprites to level up my my uh, my teammates. I don't think I've ever made Mario this strong before. Uh, remember, I had a Wario badge. Oh, really? That's that yeah. exists. And a Waluigi badge. Oh, sweet. But all right, Green Mario is still fine. You know that that's a fun little. Fun little tidbit to bring up, because I also remember playing uh, a bunch of okay. different games when I was younger, and just utterly dominating them nowadays. Oh wow, you can jump on those. Yeah, I got the ice power. I was checking to see if I still had that. And I did. Nice! So these things are now just a pushover. I wonder if Vivian can attack these things. Fire on fire? No, too hot to touch! Ooh, okay. <laughs> I love how Paper Mario just ignites when they get too close. I'm gonna get you. All right, well, uh, switch to Bobbery here. Bobbery nope. seems to be my go-to for a lot of things. But wait, if you get a bomb too close to flame, it shall explode. Yeah, Vivian's fire touch doesn't work, but Bobbery's explosions do. Makes perfect but hey, sense. level up! What to go for today? Uh, let's hmm. see. Uh, I'll go for the FP. Get that up to 40. Nice, big, chunky, respectable number. Unlimited power! It's very limited. There's only 40 points. UNLIMITED! That's not, it's not limited. It's, it's, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a clear limit on it. I mean, it's it's, it's right there. Anything Next to a healing box? UNLIMITED POWER! Well, that, that, that's only limited by the distance you can go from that healing box, so I mean... Uh, action replay? UNLIMITED POWER! I am rejecting your Star Wars reference! <laughs> Why? Why are you gonna do Palpatine dirty like that? Because Palpatine's a dirty old man. Oh man. I I I actually looking up a synopsis of the latest trilogy. Uh, I'm glad I stopped a long time ago. Like, I I don't know what's I don't know what's worse, the prequels or the sequels. Because well, the prequels, the prequels are dumb and poorly made films, but at least they had a vision, they had an idea in mind when they were going in. I don't know what they were trying to do with the sequels. Just make more Star Wars. Uh, yeah. 
I mean, Disney kind of hit the nail on the head when th they basically alluded to fans of Star Wars will literally buy anything. It, it's a tragic misstep in, in the human consciousness where we see something we like or liked back in the past, and if a new version comes out, we just gotta see it. After the bullshit that was uh, The Last Jedi and the Rise of Skywalker. You, you got two fans. You got fans who like The Last Jedi and not The Rise of Skywalker, and those who like Rise of Skywalker and not The Last Jedi. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> God, imagine being a bullet and just missing your target and then your existence is gone. A sentient bullet, no less. Oh, yes. Your only true purpose in life is to hit something, and you can't even do that. Oh, the uh, lifespan of a, of a bullet bill is just like, <laughs> like 20 seconds. <laughs> I can actually see that in like a cartoon sketch. I'm alive! I'm dead! <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, what? Ah, jeez. Uh, is there any way I can like hit multiple? It doesn't seem like it. Cannons are like rabbits, just more and more bullets. <gasps> do you th do you think cannons asexually reproduce? Well, we're seeing it right now. I mean, do you see a mate? Well, we killed its mate, so I mean. Do Actually, do you think it's like a a Pokemon? Since you know the Bullet Bill could be the the first. Uh, original Pokemon, and then the evolution's the cannon, and... I refuse to think that this golden cannon hatched from an egg. Maybe it just, like, spawned. Like, Mew and Arceus got bored one day, and was like, Hey, yo, God! You wanna make a cannon Pokemon? Yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, let me get Bobbery out if I'm gonna be fighting these things. PFD down! Fuck that! <laughs> Hooray, I, I think. But, by the way, have you... Have you seen any of the Pokemon films? I've seen one. I've seen 2,000. Okay, Were so, there more? I had no idea. Uh, yeah, you, there, there are about 25 films, I think. There, there might have been one or two that slipped under, the, under my radar. But, uh, probably one of the funniest ones was, uh, I actually sat down, had a Netflix subscription, and I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna I'm try one of these Pokemon movies. I tried the Hoopa one, where there's, like, a genie Pokemon now, and, uh, you know, the concept of being able to, like, pull legendaries out of their dimensions and have them fight one another sounded pretty cool, but that movie was garbage. Wasn't there one fucking movie where, like... Professor Oak was, like, with Celebi or whatever as, like, a kid, and then Ash went back in time to help him out or something dumb like that. I yeah. Th there's a new movie with every legendary that comes out, or new series that comes out, just to showcase the new Pokemon. But I think one of the stupidest ones was the one where they actually had a cool concept, a god Pokemon, and made him into a whiny bitch. What, Mewtwo? No, the actual god Arceus. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Mewtwo is like the most powerful Pokemon in the world. If you know, if we're going by Pokedex, because he was made to be the ultimate. But then you have like literal God come down and be like, "Humans suck! I'm gonna destroy the boom." Well, you made humans, so <laughs> jokes on you, d dumbass. <laughs> I just can't believe he literally throws a hissy fit because the humans aren't playing nice. Humans are stupid. Wow, that's really original. I'm, I'm glad that. <laughs> yeah. And then of course you got Ash, who's like, I can fix him, and then Arceus just gets angrier. <laughs> and then of course is God tier Pikachu that's going on that Ash has like level five thousand. Just decides, yeah, I can fend off the god of Pokemon. Sure, use a thunderbolt. Ash Ketchum just pisses me off. <laughs> he's he's the worst Pokemon trainer ever, I swear to God. I mean, he's written a lot better in Sun and Moon, but that still doesn't excuse the years of, like, bad character development. 
I think I, I think the the story I've written for myself and all the Pokemon games is better than Ash's character. Oh, you're not going into like creepy pasta territory, are you? Like he was dead the whole time? Hell no. <laughs> My idea is that you know, you know, uh, back in Red and Blue, I uh, as a trainer defeated Team Rocket and all that. And then they came back in, uh, in uh, what Gold and Silver, just, uh, defeated them again. And then because they're a terrorist organization, after a child, I went into hiding. But then, ter then you know, I went and fought another terrorist organization in uh, God Hoenn. Mm -hmm. And then, then I decided to run even further into hiding for uh, Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> to the point where I even changed my gender for X and Y and beyond, so that way they'll never <laughs> find me. So, uh, so when when all so when all of my friends you know all around me are like, oh yeah, come on, let's have let's have fun in Pokemon Battle. I'm like, yeah, sure. When really I'm, I'm an mm -hmm. undercover detective, you know, looking yeah. for terrorist organizations to destroy. It's like, mm, yeah. So, figure this one out. Uh, oh. Um, hmm. Let me think. So, you're in this door. And how, how many doors are there? Four doors? So this one this probably... Door. It just leads you back out, right? Nothing happens. So, do you go back out the door you came in? So, then I go through this door... Nothing happens. So I guess I go back and... No, that's not right. But that makes a weird grating sound. Yeah, I noticed that too. Maybe Goombella can give us a hint. Never stops being useful. Hint me, bitch. You should check everything to make sure there's nothing amiss, don't you think? You know, look for anything out of the ordinary. The, okay, like the stairs, or...? Hmm. Anything out of the ordinary. Well, I mean, some of the torches aren't lit. Like, all of them. There's one torch that's lit. Oh, it's the torches. It's the torches. Gotcha. It's the torches. Uh, so simple. God, I, I feel like a rat finally getting the cheese in the maze. Like, it didn't take me long at all to figure <laughs> out what they were going for. <laughs> Do I no! blow up the torch? No, you don't. It just, just, you just go through the door, man. You just get locked in purgatory if you blow out the flame. And aha, aha! I, I see the aha moment in your eyes. Vague progress. Hey, here we go. See, I'm glad they didn't pull, like, a Mario 1, you have to go in the on the correct platforms in order to uh, get through the castle. That always annoyed me. It's really annoying when you're trying to do it in Super Mario 35. Oh my god, you're right. By the way, have you seen pro players get, like, utter garbage on their screen? I have had... 15 Lakitu's on my screen at one time. Oh, good lord. <laughs> and that's the type of garbage I'm I'm looking for, because that sounds like a lot of fun, but really aggravating. It'd be garbage if it happened in, like, the first two minutes of gameplay, but that's, like, you know, when there's five dudes left and everyone's, you know, right. tossing back the same enemies back and forth, back and forth. You know, I always... I always wanted to not be... That guy who dies oh, hey. in the first few seconds. Oh, hey, cool. But, uh, it, happens. it happens to everybody. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've kind of dated this episode because by the time April 1st rolls around... <laughs> What's Super Mario 35? I don't know. It's gone now. Now, I swear Nintendo's going to pull a Tetris 99 and release it physically. Or, like, add new features and then put a price tag on it. I hope. Chain I hope chops. the highest of hopes. Yeah. Have we ever fought a chain chomp before? I don't think so. At least not one like this. Holy God! crap! We've gotten the entire game without a chain chomp? That's actually ridiculous. It's like they realize, like, we haven't had chain chomp. We have? Oh, shit! Put it at the final level! Hurry! Oh, I love chain chomps, little chompy boys. 
And uh, I love how that's the exact same sprite from Yoshi's Island. <laughs> like, I think you, it even has the same outline. Well, don't fix what isn't broken, right? Well, true. Beep. Whoa! Okay, that was cool. You actually uprooted that chain chop, and then it rooted itself back. <laughs> oh, Goombella, no. Stop. Gotta get man Bobby out. Stop killing the, the girl who's helping you. I think I've done pretty well not killing her so far. I mean, like, I think only Bobbery's died. I think Goombella's died once. I think that's about it. Well, Bobbery's lived a thousand lives, because every time he explodes, he dies and get, gets reborn. Mm, they're tough. Not that tough. Nothing your boy UDJ can't handle. Well, you, this... you can handle a lot. Yeah, a little bit, at least. This big, gigantic, open plaza. Orf, orf! Orf, orf! Pay attention to me! Yeah. Might as well get this guy while we're here, too. <laughs> you just thwacked Oh, three a... of them! No! <laughs> you just thwacked a dog over the head! <laughs> Uh, can Quake Hammer do anything? One damage? Ooh, Ooh four. That's not bad. Uh, let's do Bombo Blast because uh, I see a healing square over there. Boom! God damn. Beautifully done. Look, I even paid my way to heal. Yeah. <sighs> well, there's a lot more than meets the eye to this place. I want to go inside that palace. So next time on Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, we're going to go inside that tower and see what's going on up there. See you next time.